Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to do an update of my Simrig. Yet another one. Yeah, constantly evolving this. So the main one features that have changed are the computer is now mounted behind the unit itself. And on the top, and we've made a simple wood bracket which has three mounts going underneath here. And then these two poles go to the floor to support it because it's a ridiculously heavy PC. This PC case is highly recommended for anybody that wants to keep the PC cool. This dropped my temperature dramatically down on the PC. I do have a lot of fans in here, but even so, massive difference. Huge on this case. The case is massive, and because it's massive, then there's loads of airflow. The heating problem is now non-existent. So I have a butt kicker amp up here, and I have a uh, three-way... Sorry. A uh, 3 terabyte hard drive up here just for storing videos on. That is a switcher for my VR and my fourth monitor. Because I have them on a switch so I can have my fourth monitor on or my VR headset. That is the new pedal mount which is obviously a new add-on. And this comes from Track Racer. And what it does is it inverts your pedals. So it's the hybrid inverted pedal mount I believe that's what it's called I'll have a full video on it very soon where we discuss it more in detail but obviously this isn't lets you invert your pedals and then you simply can invert your original pedals onto here and then you just have to swap your clutch to your accelerator obviously which is easy enough to do and a good excuse to re-grease all your pedal shafts so really nice to do really good job didn't take that long couple of hours to do the whole thing and the other thing we've done major is we have the panels going floor to the top of the canopy and what they allow me to do is make it more immersive inside cheaply done just two bits of hardboard one on either side painted black and um, with some blackboard paint and I have just put some stickers on just to make it look a bit better and it's just held in place with a couple of brackets and some bits of wood and then at the top I've just taped it to the top of my canopy and like I say it just makes it more immersive so I'll show you inside the rig now and as you can see it does look it's totally enclosed now, so I have these panels on both sides. Uh, LED lighting under my monitors now. Uh, I moved the on and off switch for the PC to here, so it looks like a start button, I suppose, a start switch. Um, and that's what turns my PC on and off, obviously. And then I have various things here, so I moved my... That's my amp for the transducers that are under the seat. This is for the butt kicker, which is now mounted on the front. Um, that's my switch box that I use more than any other, so this is how I start the car with ACC and my wipers and headlights. And I, this is great, this was like 30 quid. And it's an amazing pedal um, button box, should I say? Pedal box. These are the, obviously the air ducts for my wind sim. And then you've seen all this stuff, I did a review of the DDU recently. And now my fourth monitor is mounted at the side, up on the top because I couldn't put it on the top anymore but when I'd done when I moved everything forward slightly I couldn't obviously mount it on the top and on the top I converted what was the fourth monitor mount to a boom arm and this holds my F1 steering wheel and also um, my microphone which I just pulled down when I need to use it which is fantastic it makes it so much easier for me and the only other thing that I've done I think is that I have behind I have this light and I don't know whether you're going to be able to see this when I change it but it's LED lighting and I can just swap it to the colours colours are going to show up great on the camera I feel but I tend to have it on whatever colour matches the inside and at night it just gives it that really nice glow so that's it that's the update I think I can't think of anything else that's been really done to it um, but yeah is ever evolving as this hobby tends to be and like I always say you just if you're happy with your rig you're happy with your rig that's just everybody has their own ideas of what they want I just went for immersion and I love it the way it is and I built it as cheap as I possibly could I'm not going to spend a fortune buying side panels when I can just build something that I might want to change in six months so there you go thanks ever so much for watching have a fantastic day